Bryony here from Kit Guru, and I'm here at Overclockers UK with 8-Pack and we're going to be taking a look at two of the custom water-cooled systems in the 8-Pack range. So we start off by taking a look at this smaller one here. Uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about the specifications and what's going on with this one? Yeah, uh, sure Bryony and uh, welcome to you and obviously the Kit Guru viewers uh, here at SUK. Uh, this uh, machine here is uh, one of the, if you like, lower end 8-Pack models. Um, it's called the Asteroid, uh, and it's a fully water-cooled uh, compact footprint gaming PC. Uh, I mean, obviously, it has got professional uses too, but in, in general, the customer that is buying this is the gamer. Uh, the specification of the, of the machine is based on the Z370 platform or on an Asus Strix i motherboard, uh, i meaning, obviously, a small form factor, uh, being ITX in this case. Uh, we've got... a uh, um, 8700K CPU overclocked to at least 5.1 gigahertz, uh, with the cache overclocked usually to around 4.6, 4.7, or even 4.8 gigahertz, uh, with 16 gig, 4000 megahertz memory in there. Uh, the GPU is a 1080 Ti, uh, and that's also overclocked to at least 2000 megahertz, usually to 2050 on the core, uh, and 5.5 gigahertz effective uh, memory speed. Um, as you can see, uh, it's not only a compact uh, footprint, every part of the case is used to integrate the water cooling. So we've got the reservoir here, uh, the pass-through plate here, making sure that we can do nice straight lines with the tubing and keep the tubing short. Uh, and obviously that helps the efficiency of the pump and obviously you can run the pump uh, speed very low, hence keeping noise low if you're only uh, running such a short loop. In the bottom of the case here, we've got two 240 rads here and here. So the air has been pulled in through the front here and then extracted out here uh, from the fans, which is spaced on top of the radiators. So not only is it compact, it's cool and quiet as well. Um, what about it is sort of unique to the 8-pack line? Is the case uh, designed specifically for this like small form factor? Yeah, the, the case is designed specifically actually for this hardware, uh, this hardware setup. And if the customer decides to change the hardware, we have to uh, make slight design changes to the case also. Uh, obviously, if the ports change uh, on, on either the CPU water block or uh, the GPU water block, then these ports need to change, for example, if they change storage uh, options, which in this case is... Uh, one terabyte of NVMe storage plus one terabyte or two terabyte of SSD storage. If they want a spinning drive, for example, or they want more SSDs or they want more NVMe's, then we then we uh, have to make changes as far as the, the maybe the motherboard tray goes or even uh, the storage mounts in the back of the case because as you can see, we haven't got much space to play with. Uh, and the selling point of this system for most people who are gamers or professionals haven't got much uh, work st uh, space around them. Uh, is the, is the size of the case, so then the case never gets bigger, it's just adjustments within that we make. So it's um, fully customised to make sure that it's small and powerful. Uh, what about this humongous uh, case here? Do you want to talk a little bit about this one and the difference between uh, the person might be looking at buying one of these and buying one of the smaller cases? Yeah, of course, yeah. This one here is the, if you like, uh, almost the top of the 8-pet range. Uh, this is called the Supernova, and if you like, it's been my flagship model or, or almost flagship model for many for many years now. Uh, the difference between this and really the Orion X, which is the flagship model, is the Orion X is holding two high-end systems. So the Orion X is holding everything that's within the Supernova, plus a little bit more if you want to add to the GPU, and it's also holding everything that's within the Asteroid as well. So it, it's one case with both systems in, essentially, the Orion X. But... Uh, this here is a Supernova, uh, like I said, and the, uh, the stock spec of the Supernova is a 18-core CPU overclocked to 4.6, uh, 64 gig of memory, but this customer is a, uh, who was actually bought this PC is, a, is using it for sound editing uh, uh, and uh, a lot of sound uh, manipulation, adding special effects and so on and so on. So he's gone for 128 gig of memory in here. Uh, the stock specification of the Supernova is two, uh, is sorry, three 1080 Ti. But the the set, the customer here, like I said, is a is a recording artist actually. So he's gone for two Ti because he's he needs Thunderbolt and he's also going to add uh, his own another card of his own in the PCI Express slots to to help him uh, interface with his sound desk, if you like. 
So it needed the PCI Express lens for that, so it just went for the two 1080 Ti, which of course are fully water-cooled and again overclocked to over 2000 megahertz on the core and overclocked to 5.5 gigahertz on the memories. Uh, also within the system, you've got NVMe uh, storage in RAID 0, you've got SSD storage, uh, two terabytes in RAID 0 as well, uh, and then you've got HDD storage, 10, 10 terabytes. Uh, so I guess uh, the difference between the end user with this and this, this one is, is more for the gamer, but you can obviously do professional editing and so on and so on on six cores, 12 threads, it's going to be fast, especially with the IPC of this CPU. Uh, the cache speed overclock and so on and so on but for sometimes six cores 12 threads is not enough sometimes one gpu is not enough so so this uh sometimes also you know that you're limited with this form factor to like 32 gig of memory uh whereas this we've got 128 gig of memory so here it's 18 cores 36 threads 4.6 128 gig of memory uh, at uh, 3.6 gigahertz, uh, and then two GPUs. You can have three. You can have four. If if you know if the task needs it, we all know gaming is not really scaling past two. Although three gains, you're probably under the 10 percent in performance. Certainly four now is gaining nothing. But for some customers, four need four for rendering uh, uh, and such applications that can use the full four GPUs. So this is like. Uh, a gaming rig, yeah, for sure, but also really a very, very high-end professional rig. Um, so what is there for people that maybe don't have, like, £10,000 to buy one of the... Because the 8-pack range, the high-end range, will start at about £10,000. What is there for people that might not have quite that much to spend on their own sort of custom PC, but they still want something really powerful? Well, uh, we've, we've also got, like, uh, two ranges, actually. Uh, the OC UK Tech Labs range, uh, which is aimed at the people who who uh, want the modifications and the level of customizations uh, and not quite the highest possible performance. Uh, and then we've got the infinite range, which is as machines that are inspired by it pack and the hardware uh, levels uh, are binned hardware, just like in the eight pack range, but a slightly lower level. So it's slightly lower performance levels, but very similar looks. Uh, and we've got like the Emperor, the Empress, uh, the Meteor, and, and, and several machines that look very similar uh, in, in, uh, but are not quite the performance and not quite the modding. I mean, in the 8-pack range, you can have literally every single mod that you want. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you can have uh, custom pass-through plates, you can have braided cables of any colour, you can have case modifications, painting, anodizing, you can have fan grills painting and uh, painted to any colour you want. I mean, literally anything that we can possibly do, you can have. It may add lead time, uh, but these so such options are not really uh, available in the infinite range, although we will try to accommodate the customer, but then it pushes up the price, so maybe the, then you better go in for an 8-pack model. Yeah. You know? uh, but the, the performance is certainly there in that range, and the infinite range performance is outperforming uh, maybe by one or two hundred megahertz or, uh, at least uh, on every facet of the range better than any of our competitors and then obviously the eight pack range is one step even higher than that. So you take the best components that you can find and then within the in infinite range and the eight pack range you make sure that they're bin to be the best that they can be and that's the parts you put into the systems. Yeah exa exactly that in uh, in especially in the 8-pack range, but also in the infinite range. We've been, in, we've been in the CPUs. We're making sure that there's really good synergy with the memory. The memory is like uh, Samsung VDI in a lot of cases, which means you can run high speed with low cast latency. Uh, I mean, even like uh, I've worked with Team Group to come up with our own line of memory now that, that's uh, always Samsung VDI and always very high bin, all the way up to 4,500 megahertz. Uh, sticks, which obviously are not uh, going to uh, be so good on the X299 platform, but are working great on on uh, Z the Z370. Although X299, if you've got the four core CPU, that is rocking on the IMC, so you can really push that. But not on not if you want eight sticks, certainly. Uh, so yeah, every single uh, component is within these kind of systems is is binned, uh, and also then in a lot of cases that we're also modifying the component. So like if it's a six core twelve core Fed CPU, we're removing the, the lid, uh, we're changing the thermal interface to liquid metal, uh, 
we're uh, polishing the lid uh, internally uh, and then sticking it back on. And obviously that increases the temperatures and the overclocking capacity, uh, lowers the temperature, sorry, but increases the overclocking capacity because you've got like 20 C or so to play with. On this platform, uh, we're uh, deleting the CPU as well. Uh, and this time we're changing the ILM, so we're changing the socket. We're using uh, the Debauer, uh, the Debauer socket, uh, which is patented uh, by a colleague of mine, Debauer. He designed that uh, so that then you can mount the water block directly onto the uh, CPU core or die. Again, we're using liquid metal. Uh, and this direct uh, mounting, obviously, uh, it vastly improves the efficiency of the transfer because you've no longer got an IHS in the way. So it's, it's removing one barrier completely. Uh, and, and then again, we're... Uh, improving temperatures by at least 20 degrees sometimes more i mean and this has a, a massive effect obviously on the overclock you can get the long-term stability and, and indeed the uses of the cpu because without that delayed it's almost impossible to like overclock if you want to run avx code or avx 512 as some of our high-end business customers especially uh, in the formula one field or the um cinematics or rendering fields they now want to run avx 512 that codes between 15 and 30 percent faster than avx avx2 but the heat is output is phenomenal so without the delay in it's impossible to overclock uh, but once you've got the delay in uh, then then you can push these cpus and make them uh, more efficient than xeons for example like i tested recently for our uh, for a, a cinematics company uh, the 4.6 this CPU overclocked to 4.6 for their uh, Corona code. Uh, and what, what I saw is that this, this CPU was equally as fast as two 18-core Xeons. So oh. one 18-core i7 is equal to two 18-core Xeons in, in Corona rendering. And obviously, that has implications for, for their purchasing decisions, you know. Especially as, it, you know, if uh, you can fit it in a small form factor like 2U. Yeah, so with the 8-pack systems, uh, you are taking those components that um, are the best components anyway, and then you're pushing them further than other companies might have been able to get them because you're going through the extra processes and things to get them there. How long does it take you to sort of put something like this system together? Well, I mean, we always, uh, if it's a stock system, can hit the, uh, you know, the target of 28 working days. But because our systems are very rarely stock, as in what it says on the website, then uh, it, it often takes us a little bit longer because the the customer requires us to to uh, design new parts, if you like, different pass through plates or uh, cable combinations uh, that are not off the shelf. Uh, or, or literally anything you know we can do for the customer. We've got in-house uh, SolidWorks design team, uh, we, and we can have things laser cut, CNC, custom paint. Uh, but this does add lead time, and obviously also finding the good CPUs takes time. Although we do try to try to keep some good, uh, the best silicon back for our very high-end business or gaming customer. It, it's not always possible, you know, if there's a shortage of that particular CPU at Intel, then. Uh, then that can be also become difficult. So that, that's all adding lead time. Yeah. So if I was to purchase one of these systems, uh, what sort of service could I expect uh, on like delivery and what sort of warranty and things do you give with these really high-end systems? Well, um, the delivery is always uh, hand delivery, hand delivered within the UK by our own technicians. Uh, if it's in Europe, uh, then that's covered by Case King or various other sister companies that now we have around Europe that are obviously uh, linked with us, UK and Case King Group. Uh, the systems are always hand delivered in a flight case. Often with like the asteroid size system, the customer decides to buy the flight case because they want to take it to LAN or they want to take it to show business presentations where the system might be in their company colours or uh, have company logos etched into the, the windows, for example, so they might keep the flight case. With supernova size systems, they often choose not to keep the flight case, but then again, some people do want to keep the flight case. We've got one customer who just t always takes his supernova to LAN, for example. Yeah, of course, it's a crazy iron system, but he wants to show off yeah. that he's got, like, the Ferrari of computers. You know, I mean, uh, I guess the 8-pack systems are not just uh, uh, 
just a PC if you like. They're more they're also a luxury like luxury goods like yeah. Ferrari or Aston Martin or they're 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 an item that not many people have and some people like to show that they've got something that no one yeah. else has for it, you know. Uh, and that's why I guess that we do all these customizations because no two they don't you know, people don't want at that level their system to be the same as someone else's, just like Gucci or Prada or any high end brand that you might, you know, care to mention. So they're always hand delivered and hand set up here in the UK for those customers, uh, or indeed we've been to to Ireland or close islands ourselves to set up. But otherwise, we get we have that covered by Casekin Group around Europe. Uh, in terms of warranty, we offer three years, uh, uh, and uh, you know the customer who's buying this system always gets like my mobile number, my contact and con contact me pretty much twenty four seven, uh, as well as our normal RMA channels. For a high-end business customer, it's by an eight-pack level system. They can pay extra for for a four-hour same-day repair. So, uh, and if the, if they report the problem by one o'clock, if it's reported after one o'clock, then next day they get their system repaired and up and running, no problem. In terms of upgrade, you can imagine the customer who buys an eight-pack system always wants the best. Yeah. It's always this <laughs> continual upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. So that's also covered within the warranty in, in terms of what, what happens. So if they decide they want to upgrade the GPUs, for example, or the memory or the CPU, and they remain on the same platform or same motherboard, then we'll do that uh, with no charge for labor. Uh, all they have to pay for essentially is the new water blocks or the new GPUs or the new parts that they want added. Uh, and and we, we cover everything else ourselves. The, the the other thing, obviously, well, the systems are back here. They again get a full uh, stability test, a full uh, check of the temperatures of all the components, uh, and a full service so the water cooling fluid gets changed or whatever we deem needs uh, doing. Obviously, all the all the uh, dust is removed, all the panels are taken off, everything's checked while they're here before we we go through the same quality control procedure before it's shipped out again. So if they want to change anything, we can do that uh, throughout the warranty period. Uh, free of charge it, well free of man labor charge if yeah. you like but labor on such a system is quite intensive you know if in this system you have to change the, the graphics cards drain all the fluid out uh, replace the fluid change the cards you know blocking up the cards checking each card i mean we don't just throw any two cards together in these systems we check that the boost clocks are even uh, we check the asics are, are matched so there's no instability between cards you know one's boosting higher than the other which can cause uh, problems in, in an sli uh, configuration uh, over time if the clocks are, are not matched so we're doing a lot of different things the gpus are also been not just the cpu not just the memory sticks everything so everything is very sort of, it's a very personal service and when someone buys one of these systems it's quite a long term investment and they've always got access to uh, like your help and things if things go wrong and yeah, warranty course. and things. I mean we've got customers, uh, several customers based around Europe in fact who've got uh, maybe two or three eight pack systems. Uh, there's a customer in Germany who has two supernovas plus a hypercube. Uh, customers down south in the UK who bought the first iteration uh, hypercube, then bought a supernova. I mean, I've got several customers who've got several supernovas. And what they tend to do is they're using the supernova initially for both business and gaming, uh, and then they move it over and just use it for gaming, but they upgrade the GPUs. Then they get a new supernova, which has got usually the higher end uh, or a faster CPU, which they need for their professional application, uh, and then just use it for for uh, for the new one for the professional and the other for gaming. Or they pass the, that on to their children, for example, you know. There's an eight-year-old in Ireland who has a supernova, for example, you know, <laughs> uh, to play Minecraft or something like this. But it's not because he needs it, it's just because he can, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and at this level, sometimes, you know, people just want it because they can. No one yeah. needs a Ferrari, but... Or, indeed, they do need it for the professional uh, application or they want a game 4K across three monitors or or uh, they want to be able to render on three GPUs and game on the fourth or, you know, there's endless uh, examples of, of why they would do this. Even Orion X, you know, they want to run uh, the streaming off the main small system. They want to render on two GPUs uh, and then they want a game on the top GPU. Even Orion X has a lot of users, you know, you can set up a server on one system and game off it on the other system. Uh, media server or uh, gaming server across you know multi platforms. So people say, "Oh, it's overkill." It's overkill. Yeah. <laughs> but for most people, yes. 
but but for for some people they they want to be able to do a whole range of things all at once and this is where the supernova orion x level of system comes in or they just want something that's really great looking in their own colors totally customized to them amazing performance portable they can take it around the world to show uh, the business products or to just game have fun then that's the customer who would buy the asteroid or indeed the infinite level equivalent you know we're selling a, a lot of those per month eight pack systems we actually sell more than most people would think but I, like i said to many people who ask me about oh these are expensive expensive you know none of the luxury brands you see going out of business because yeah. they're offering something <laughs> still that some people want uh, and also something that is unique that they cannot get anywhere else so if someone wants this level of system they will come to us yeah this has been Bryony from Kit Guru and 8-Pack from Overclockers. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from Kit Guru and Overclockers, hit the subscribe button.